Hey folks, this is Jeff. Uh, I'm on the outside of my solar power room building, which is a 20 foot sea can. Um, that houses all my inverters and transformer and a couple more panels. And I've got this box mounted here. This is my last box to mount. This is gonna be my EMI filtering box and PV disconnect box. And I'll, I'll show you that in just a minute. Uh, this first panel all the way over here is the main panel from the electric utility. From there, it feeds inside the building into the inverter AC input panel. And it also feeds over to this transfer switch, this manual transfer switch, which allows me to select straight from the grid or when in the up position or when it's in the down position like it is now, it's going through my inverters because all the power from my house and property right now is coming from the inverters. And I'm doing that because I'm, I'm monitoring and checking losses uh, through the transformer and all. And this, this right here, trough, <clears throat> is just going to be an access point or a connection point. I'll have two conduits that come up out of the ground from the PV array that's way over there. I had hoped to do that this week, but with the rain outlook, I'm probably not going to do that because I don't want to leave that ditch open any longer than I have to. I have a Got to tie this conduit in here. This is a temporary ca uh, cable coming in this box to provide lights. And this is gonna be my transition from my underground aluminum. These will come here, there'll be six of them. They'll land on these blocks will feed into a disconnect and then into this EMI filter and then from here to the inverters so I've still got a fair amount of work to do but my son helped me mount this just a few minutes ago and now I'm at a point to where I can do this other wiring by myself in the afternoon so And then the lightning arresters. Uh, these are hooked up right now. They'll be coming off so I can, they won't be in a way while I put this wiring up through here. And then I'll hook them back up. But this is part of my EMP protection scheme. I follow the work of Dr. Arthur Bradley. I don't know if you're familiar with him or not, but if you look him up on YouTube, and he also has a website, but if you go to his YouTube channel, he's got some really good videos on EMP shield, shielding and uh, EMP mitigation techniques. And then you can get to his website from there. But this is just one of the steps that I'm going through that he's recommended. Um, in a previous video, I showed you some ferrites out at the, at the array and some lightning arresters. I'm also installing lightning arresters here and then I have TVS uh, I'm calling these lightning arresters that's I shouldn't say that these are surge suppressors uh, they're not really lightning arresters nothing's gonna hit, really help you from a direct lightning strike I've seen it too many times and this is uh this is one coming straight from the utility or my first panel and I have a couple of these throughout the system. So I'm just doing what I can to mitigate uh, transients and rises. And I'm hoping that doing it in a layered method that perhaps it'll give me some protection from, from an EMP or a CME, if you're familiar with those terms. If you aren't, uh, then maybe you ought to read one of my books. Look it up on Amazon. Anyway, I got some more wiring to do, but I've got to go to work now. Enjoy your day.